Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. All praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, which is to say in the Paleo Hebrew, Yahweh, which is the name of our Heavenly Father, meaning He is, Bahashem, meaning in the name, Yahweh Shai, meaning He is our salvation, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus a so called black man. This is a reply to a comment I had a day or two ago. And this is the comment and it reads, is it okay for us to eat eggs and cheese and but butter? Please help me, brother in Yahweh Shai's name. Okay, so we're going to go into a few scriptures and, you know, get a little bit, you know, clarification on this. This is the book First Timothy 4. And we're going to go down to verse four and it says for every creature of the most highest good and nothing to be refused if it be received with thanksgiving for it is sanctified by the word of the most high in prayer. And Christians will see this verse and justify, you know, them eating all type of abominable foods, you know, according to what the Bible say that we shouldn't eat. And they'll use this verse to say that it's justified that we can eat as long as we eat it with thanksgiving. When the scriptures clearly tells us that the Most High made a difference between the clean and the unclean. Okay, so there's certain animals that we can eat and there's certain animals that we can't eat. Because the Most High gave us animals to consume for food and then he gave us animals that was used for other things. Okay, so that's why we're not supposed to eat every animal. We were given laws, okay? There's certain animals that once they die on their own, he tells us how to go about disposing them and that we can give them to the, you know, heathens and the aliens, non-Israelites, okay? We are a separate people set apart. So we were given specific laws, statute, commandments on how to, you know, be holy, okay? Which means separate from the other nations, okay? There's laws on what to do when an animal die. You know, we can sell it to the other nations and there's laws that tell us that we're not to touch the carcasses of those dead animals. OK, so there's, you know, ways that we can go about eating and there's ways that we shouldn't eat. OK, now the question was, can we eat eggs, cheese and butter? OK, now I'm assuming the eggs that this uh individual is speaking of is of a clean animal such as you know chickens hens you know and quails okay because there's certain animals that we were forbidden to eat now if the eggs come for any come from any other animals that we are forbidden to eat then no we can't eat those eggs okay so duck eggs or any type of eggs that's not written you know in the law we can't eat and as far as uh, I believe it was cheese and butter, okay, we know a component of cheese is milk, all right? So if you are privy to knowing the type of ingredients that's going into the cheese and knowing which type of milk that you're getting it from, then yes, you can eat, you can use milk and eat milk, okay? Because milk comes from a cow and a cow is, you know, divided at the hoof, so we can use that animal to make milk with now there's certain animals that i think i'm aware of that you know certain people use to make milk such as the camel you know and if you're using camel's milk to make cheese then no you can't eat that cheese and the same thing goes with butter okay you can eat butter but if you're using butter to you know enhance a food that we shouldn't eat such as you know uh, ribs or pork or something like that, then no, you can't eat butter because it's used to, you know, uh, coat a animal or something that we were given that we shouldn't eat. Okay, so let's go into the scriptures and get those animals and then let's take it from there. This is Deuteronomy and we're going to go into chapter 14 and let's go down to this started three. It says, Thou shalt not eat any abominable thing. Okay? It tells you that. So trying to use what Paul wrote to justify what you want is going off. 
Verse 4 says, These are the beasts which ye shall eat, the ox, the sheep, and the goat, the hart, and the roebuck, and the fallow deer, and the wild goat, and the pig, pygurg, and the wild ox, and the camels, and every beast that parteth the hoof, and cleaveth the cleft unto two claws, and cheweth the cud among the beasts that ye shall eat. Nevertheless, these ye shall not eat of them that chew the cud, or of them that divideth the cleft and hoof, as the camel. So, as long as there is no byproduct of the camel that you're aware of, that you're, you know, using to cook with, such as milk, to make cheese, then you can eat, you can use the milk, you can eat the milk, okay? And the hare and the coney, for, the, for they chew the cud, but divideth not the hoof. They are, therefore, they are unclean unto you. And the swine, because it divideth the hoof, yet cheweth not the cud, it is unclean unto you. Ye shall not eat of their flesh, nor touch their dead car car uh, carcasses. They, these ye shall eat of all that are in the waters. All that have fins and scales ye shall eat. Right, so you shall only eat those things that are in the waters that have fins and scales, okay? And whatsoever have not fins and scales, you may not eat. It is unclean unto you, okay? It's, you know, cut, it's dry and cut. You can see he put a difference between what we can eat in the waters and what we can't eat, okay? Those things that have fins and scales, we can't eat. And those things that don't have fins and scales, we can't eat, okay? Of all clean birds, ye shall eat. But these are they of which ye shall not eat. The eagle, the osprey, and the osprey, and the glee, and the kite, and the vulture after his kind, and every raven after his kind, and the owl, and the night hawk, and the cockle, and the hawk after his kind. So if you're getting eggs from any of these type of birds right here, then you're not supposed to eat those eggs because they're unclean. Okay, so eggs that are from the owls, from, you know, uh, vultures or anything of that nature you know you're not supposed to eat the little owl and the great owl and the swan so the swan you know is in the same family as the duck you know so you're not supposed to eat any type of eggs from them and the pelican and the gear eagle and the cormorant and the stork and the heron after her kind and the lapwing and the bat and every creeping thing that flyeth is unclean unto you they should not be eaten, all right? So we should not be eating anything that comes from these animals, these, you know, flying animals, these fowls. But of all clean fowls you may eat, you should not eat of anything that dieth of itself. So we are forbidden to eat anything that dieth of itself. Thou shalt give it unto the stranger that is in thy gates, that he may eat it. Or thou mayest sell it unto an alien for thou art a holy people. See, we were given specific, uh, uh, specific, and I can't even say the word. We were given, uh, you know, different rules than the others, you know, that we should follow by. So, you know, there are certain uh, animals that we can eat and certain animals that we can't eat. And there are certain ways to go about how we uh, how we are su supposed to dispose of them. Okay, and it says, "Thou shall thou shall truly tithe all the increase of thy seed that the field bringeth forth year by year, and thou shalt eat before Yahweh thy power, in the place which he shall choose to place his name there, the tithe of thy corn, of thy wine, and of thy oil." and the firstlings of thy herds and of thy flocks, that thou mayest learn to fear the Lord thy power always, okay? So, you know, as far as you being able to eat eggs, you can eat eggs as long as they're, you know, from a clean animal and not an unclean animal. And as far as, you know, I believe it was milk, you know, as long as it's coming from a clean animal, you can eat that milk, okay? And I believe the last one was cheese, you know, and just if you if you're using cheese, you know, just don't use it on anything that's unclean. All right.
So you can eat the eggs, you can eat the milk, and I believe the last one was our cheese. So you can eat the eggs, the milk, and the, uh, I mean the eggs, the cheese, and the butter, okay? There's nothing wrong with that, you know, according to the law, all right? So, you know, as long as you're not, you know, using and, you know, using these items for like enchantments and things of that nature, you know, then they're okay to consume. Leviticus 19 and verse 26 tells us what? Ye shall not eat anything with the blood neither shall you use enchantment nor observe times right so if you're using these foods for uh you know certain enchantments and things of that nature then no you know you can't eat it because you're not using it for what it was meant for you going off into you know your own you know doings okay and with the eggs you know make sure you cook the eggs don't eat them raw because that's the life of the blood i mean you know those eggs are unborn you know chickens Okay, so it says you should not eat anything with the blood. So you eating raw eggs, you know, make sure you cook the eggs. Okay, and neither shall you use enchantment nor observe times, you know, and I don't know what these ingredients are for, but if they're for enchantments, you know, even like a birthday, you know, then you, you know, you're going off. Okay. So if you're using these things for make to make birthday cakes, you know, birthday is celebrating, you know, your own, you know, birth. OK, you are using enchantments because you are putting yourself as your own God. OK, you're serving yourself. So certain things of that nature, you know, you, you although they're clean, you're using them for evil things like enchantments. So as long as you just stick to, you know, the basics, you know, use them for foods that you can eat and cook you know that's clean then yeah you can eat the eggs the what was it uh cheese and milk okay or cheese and butter so you can eat the eggs the cheese and the butter you know as long as it's you know for the good that's why we started off in first timothy four in verse four for every creature of the most high is good and nothing to be refused if it be received with thanksgiving. Okay. And you're not going to give thanksgiving to another, you know, to another God, including yourself, because when you celebrate your birthday, you put yourself as your own God. Okay. So for every creature of the most high is good. And we showed you what is it good for consumption. Okay. Those that have been ordained for us to eat that are clean and it says what and nothing to be refused okay if it be received with thanksgiving for it is sanctified by the word of the most high in prayer and you're not going you know use these ingredients to bake a cake and then you know use it for enchantments okay you know saying a happy birthday and all these type of things, you know, that's going off. Okay, that's, you know, observing enchantments and, you know, putting yourself as, you know, your own God. Okay, so, you know, you can eat those ingredients, you know, as long as they're for, you know, consumption for good things. All right. But anything outside of that, you know, you, although they're clean, you know, you're going off because you're using them for enchantments and other things, you know, so don't use the butter to you know butter a turkey i mean not a turkey but a ham or you know ribs or anything that's unclean okay so you can use the butter for your food if you're using it for clean foods you can use the the cheese as long as it's you know from ingredients that you're aware of that's clean and eggs from you know the birds the fowls that we were told that we can use and those that we can't stay away from all right so that was about it for the uh reply to the comment can we eat eggs cheese and butter okay you can 
as long as you know what you know you're using it for and as long as you know where it's coming from to the best of your ability all right so let's close out in first peter five and eight and it says be sober okay you have to have a sober mind and you're not going to be sober unless you, you know have a good understanding on what the law requires from you be vigilant okay you have to continue to look and do your uh, research, you know, diligently. It says, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walk of about seeking whom he may devour. Okay. So, you know, you can, you know, f go into different, you know, tangents and, you know, find yourself trying to make some type of uh, food or dish or whatever and find yourself, you know, on the other end of an enchantment. Okay. Whether it's from a, a book that you've read or whether it's from like a cook, uh, you know, a cooking show or what have you, you know, you have to be aware of these things. That's why you, that's why we read you have to be sober. You have to be vigilant. OK, because they look good on the outside, you know, doesn't mean that it's good for you on the inside. And by the inside, I'm speaking of your spirit. OK, so this world will tell you things that, you know, you can do. And I make this as a reference, like this world will say, you know, eating shrimp, for example, is good protein for you. But we know, according to the law, that we shouldn't eat shrimp because why? It doesn't have fins and scales. OK. You know, and this is what that verse Christians will try to use to justify them eating shrimp. Not just that crabs, lobsters and what have you. They'll go to 1 Timothy 4, verse 4 and 5. says, as long as we receive it with thanksgiving, we can eat anything. But the law clearly tells us what we can and what we can't eat. And then they'll go and say that we're covered under the, you know, mercy of, you know, Jesus. You know, or God, you know, or whoever they say, you know, and those are all enchantments because we know his real name isn't Jesus. And we know who, who they call God, who his real name is. Okay. His name is Yahweh and his son name is Yahweh Shah. So you can eat eggs, you can eat cheese, and you can eat butter, okay? Just don't use it for, you know, what it wasn't meant for. Don't use it for enchantments. Don't use it, you know, from animals that were not given to us that we can consume for food, and you'll be okay, all right? So I pray someone got some edification out of this. And if it be, you know, the lowest will until the next time, stay strong, stay in the faith. We almost home. Shalom.